Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universe Souls 4 as the Timurids in our Zoroastrian Timurids campaign. That's where we left off. We conquered some territory from Yemen, and uh, we're going to be embracing that and coring it and having good stuff happen. <clears throat> and it's going to take a little bit to core, actually, because we need some more, we need some more admin. Um, we're focusing right now on admin. So... Are these guys all at half price? I think this guy's not. This reinforced speed dude. Right? Uh, I don't think I necessarily need the reinforced speed anymore. Let's go and hire these guys. So these guys, we're going to get these guys to level 5. Um, they're at a decent age. And it costs a lot of money to do that, but that's okay. Because we need the points anyway. Might as well just uh, just use those points for something, something good. So I think we're going to be attacking... Um, the Ottomans here are coming up here pretty soon. Um, let's see. Grab these men. I think we're going to be attacking the Ottomans here pretty soon. Um, we're going to attack the Ottomans. We're going to take most of Egypt, I think. There might be the pop possibility of some sort of coalition. I'm not actually sure just yet. I'm not too concerned of a, of a coalition anyway, um, to, be, to be perfectly honest. I think we'll be just fine if there is one or if there isn't. AE is just a number, as they say, in that meme on the EU4 Reddit. Russia would like access. He's at war with who? France. Apparently the French Empire. And a couple of people in Scandinavia. Okay. Take a look here. Let's go and pay off Delhi's debt. There's that truce to the Memlucks and the Ottomans. I believe we will attack. Let's see if we're doing a lot of wars. Okay. We will probably attack... So Poland declared a war in Wallachia for some reason. Polish will attack against the Ottomans and Polish Wallachian trade war. Oh, come on, Poland. Really? I wanted to kind of declare my own war, but all right. I guess we'll join this. This is just, uh, I guess this is a good time to join in. <clears throat> wanted to declare my own conflict, but whatever. Um, we're on equal military tech. We are about 20 years ahead on tech for military tech. So I guess we'll just kind of... Let's see how this goes. Well, at least we can fight the Ottomans now. That's eh, fine. I'll probably probably set a piece. Um, that's some sort of separate piece. Let's see. We're fighting the Ottomans, Brandenburg, Friesland, Tunis, Ulm, Wallachia. It's me, Austria, Delhi, Lithuania, and, the, and um, Poland. I was about to say the Timbrids. We are the Timbrids, though. Uh, Poland is getting destroyed. Poland is getting wrecked. So... Memlux declared war on Makuria. Maybe one of these days we'll attack um, Imredi. He's actually allied with the Memlux, so. That's cool. Do we have level 8 forts yet? Not yet. So is that what Tunisian troops look like, huh? I don't know about that. <clears throat> Ooh, 605. Alright, that's our new heir. Our current king is only 28 years old, so we won't see this heir for a while. He's got medium legitimacy, which is unfortunate, kind of. Um, you should definitely tell everybody in the world that we desire most of this. Yeah. Oh wow, Egypt extends all the way down there, huh? That's curious. I 
Really, Pullen? Like you're ever going to actually be over here. He's never going to be able to conquer land over here. So he's just, it's just wishful thinking. Okay. Here, Captain on Diplo. Uh, might as well just accept like a Punjabi culture, I guess. And keep working on some mercantilism, I guess. We had a general die. Not bad. Wow, took that pretty quick. <clears throat> Okay. Oh, dude, that's right. We can't take any territory from the Ottomans anyway. That's so true. Yeah, because this is a, this is a trade dispute, CB. Oh man, I should not have joined this shit. God damn it, Poland, you suck. Well, Poland's probably gonna lose this anyway. I'm gonna turn off joining his offensive wars. Maybe you're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn off your defensive wars too. It's like basically with that CB, it's just useless because we can't actually take any land anyway. The only thing we could probably do maybe is have him return cores to the Memlux. Nope, we can't even do that either. Wow, Bullen. You suck ass. Fuck you then, Bullen. I might as well just declare one of the Memlux instead. That's just much easier. <laughs> Let's go kill the Memlux now. Um, do we still have our extension? We do, but I think it should be done by the time we declare the war. Whoopsies. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> God, Poland, you suck. What's the combat with? 36? It's 36 and 27. Right, so this is 28 and 8, which is 36 in the front row. So this is, um... What about this army, then? Do we need more troops for this army? I think we do. This is 26 and 8. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can't demand anything, really. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I would demand, anyway. Maybe the Ottomans can break the lines between this. Dude! Holy shit, I just realized how many forts this guy has. One, two, look at that. Like, there's like four forts here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That is thirteen Ottoman forts. Damn, son. All right, what's up with the Emirati? Did we do anything to him? So the Holy War is still 100% cost. This administrative efficiency plus 10%, that might get me something. Uh, I don't know. I can't vassalize you at all. All right, let's go and just, um, I don't know, declare war. Emirati, do you have any other allies? No. We might as well just Copa Lodge and Emirati, see what we can do to him. I'm not entirely sure what we'll do just yet. And we'll go take over his forts, I suppose. And we're going to have some, some separatists. Yeah, I'll put you in rebel duty. To the admin.
Damn it, Auto Man. Damn you, Poland. You bastard. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just be ahead of that. It's fine. I really have no intention of staying in that war for too long. I don't know. Hey, General. I think he's, uh, is that, is that him at 2-6? I think so. Okay. Let's take the rest of him already. Oh, the levy. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we'll conquer. We'll do some to him already. Uh, I don't know just what yet. Um... I wish I really could vassalize that guy. Well, Klein states advance Cassus Belly. God, that would be pretty nice, actually. Yeah, if, if I were to use a different CB, we actually probably could take this guy out. Pretty cool. So I think we we'll just conquer whatever we can up here. Yeah, that guy moves fast. I think, you know what it is? I think a lot of these stacks move on Forced March, and I just can't tell. I, I can't see that they're moving on Forced March. I don't know. I'm not sure if, like, the little the little boots icon appears. I think that actually might be what it is. I'm not just totally certain. Yeah, so I can't vassalize you at all, right? Okay. We'll do war reps. Why don't you um, annul your treaties? I could have him release Georgia, but... Um... Yeah, give him some money, I guess. We'll just make you broke. We'll see if we can vassalize him some other time. Our reps and old treaties, all sorts of good stuff. Oh, those are rebels? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I want that too, but we can't take it in this war. Oh, dear God. No, I think that'll be okay. I think that'll work out just fine. We've got really good siege ability. Is there anybody else involved in this war? I don't think so. Um... I'll actually go ahead and not take that idea. We'll wait on it for a second. Oh, come on, dude. There's rebels right there. Go kill those guys. Come on, man. What's the overextension of this? 74.1%. Do we have any more? No, we're okay. Russia broke their alliance with us. What, are they hostile again? Yeah, apparently. Apparently they are. There we go. Okay. We're kept on Diplo again. Might as well just take that for the advanced CB. I gotta admit, we were super OP. 
You're really, really OP. There we go. Got the advanced CBs now. <clears throat> Can upgrade our ships again. Truce of the Ottomans ends in probably 1688. Yep. Four years. Diplomat. I think we had a level three. Or we had a we had a diplo rep guy at half cost. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll hire him. Do we have anybody? I got a morale armies guy. It's a level two. Uh I might actually prefer to stick with land maintenance guy. Yeah, let's stick with the land maintenance guy. Oh, you damn Ottomans. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll conquer the rest of Anatolia and Egypt um, in a few wars. Well, probably like one or two wars. I'm not actually sure. It won't take that long. Send you back to Tikrit, I think. Yeah, so Poland's done for. I think, actually, we broke the alliance, too. He must have pieced out for some reason. Or no treaties, maybe? This guy's still guaranteeing him already. Hmm. I can get 10 artillery. Decrete. How large is the Ottoman army? Let's check. They have 200,000 in the field. 236 force limit. So nothing bad. Basically. Look at the glory. The glory. Plenty of rebels going around. Already separatists. Okay. Where are they? They're down here. Really? Leon was released? Wow. How's Aragon? How, how have you still not killed, like, Castile and Portugal, man? I don't get it. It's weird. They just released a new dev diary today talking about some new um, issues to Ireland and Great Britain and other things. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I think the um, the new, there's going to be a new merchant pack for Iberia. That's what I heard. Although, I think actually Iberia, even though they haven't been updated in a while, I think they actually have enough features and stuff. But, I don't know. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. I would actually argue that India needs probably a, um, an immersion pack of some kind. Because, like, the Sikh religion sucks. Like, Hinduism and um, Buddhism and stuff like that hasn't been touched in a while. I don't know. That might just be me, though. Um, Eastern Europe could use one, too. Like, Poland, Lithuania, the Ukraine, all sorts of stuff. They could probably use an immersion pack, too. Can we attack Yemen again? 1694. Yeah, we'll have to go over to the Ottomans before that happens. Actually, we can go ahead and take that. Okay, so Emma ready. So, okay. So, with the administrative efficiency and with an imperialism CB, we could actually annex Emma ready and win a war. I may actually do that. I either do that or I vassalize him. Where's Ideas? Where's Ideas? Good for vassalization. He's got defensive, quantity, economic, trade. Espionage, religious. 
Exact construction cost, manpower cover speed, monthly war exhaustion, diplo rep, infantry cost, infantry combat ability, fort defense. Yeah, he definitely sounds like a march to me. I think maybe we can make him some sort of Zoroastrian march, perhaps. We can attack him in um, 1692. We may do that. We may just do that. And then trade. How much are we making up trade? Jesus, Lord. Oh, no, our air died. Wow. We make 152.35 from trade, 95% trade efficiency, up to a higher, or up to a maximum of 200. That is some crazy shit. Somebody actually suggested that once we take over all of Egypt and just get El Khord and start stating stuff, we can actually probably transfer from Aleppo into Alexandria, and Alexandria is where we should collect from. Um, it's not a bad idea. I could actually, I really probably should get another... I should get another um, merchant and actually collect from Alexandria, probably. Oh, like transfer return power to Alexandria. I don't know. Hmm. Cause I can grab another policy. I can probably grab that one right there. I think we make enough Diplo. Let's let's have you transfer trade power then. Okay, so our income has decreased quite significantly. Lost about 20 ducats. 10 ducats. 20 ducats. Um, what happens if we, what happens if we transfer trade power from here and we collect from Lippo? Make a little more money. What if we just like collect from both places? It's not bad, but it would make more sense to transfer from here. But, I mean, we don't control Cairo or anything like that just yet, so soon enough we will. So, I don't know. And then, what are we doing? You know, improve relations. We can actually probably, probably maximize trade power. We'll go from here. Establish communities. We could do hostile trading if I wanted to. I can integrate Delhi now. It'll be done in 1698. Um, I mean, I could attack one poor, but I actually think I'm okay with, with just kind of letting it be. I could attack Vijayanagar and have Delhi give back some stuff, but um, maybe we'll just keep him there. Maybe I don't even, maybe I don't even have to annex him. I think it's fine. Two one three air, come on, horrible. All right, whatever you say. Looks like we lost one of our modifiers. I think we had a um, wave of devotion modifier. Somebody was killed in a drilling accident of some kind. All right, there's the truth, the Ottomans. Let's see, what's his uh, strength? He's got 217,000 men, a bunch of mercs, 72,000 men power. Okay. We will probably... I land force move at least 200 regiments. Absolutism. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably declare one of the Ottomans in the um, in the next episode. I think we're hopefully he's not going to get any sort of tactics advantage or something. He's got a he's got a pretty good kingdom. He's very very wealthy. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we'll probably declare it for Ottoman Egypt in the next episode. So. Thank you so much for watching, as always, guys. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hope you guys are enjoying. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.